Right, for this next one then, we're going to make a riser. Now there are quite a few different risers already in the patterns. If you go to Creative Effects, you can see some risers in there. And I generally recommend going through some of these and finding, you know, some of the things that have been done here. Uh, fake delays, these are pretty cool. Essentially, it's just, you know, duplicating slices and adjusting the levels, but in such a way that they create a delay kind of effect. Just for instance, if I search for a clap one shot, and I load up the fake delays here. So it's just a duplicated slice with the levels brought down. Um, but some of them have been repitched as well. A particularly cool effect there. Levels adjusted again, it's just bringing down the levels quite drastically there, as you can see. And then if I switch to the repitching, you can see it's been dragged down in fractions of a semitone. So again, holding down shift here. To, um, to not drag it in full semitones, but like fractions. That allows you to create more of a natural kind of pitch bend style effect. Very cool. Um, and yeah, you can also find in here some risers and that's what we're gonna look at now. Um, let's go for this one actually. This is cool because it shows you what you can do with a delay. Uh, just to show you how you kind of create this kind of thing yourself, if I reset it uh, and you know, make it a bit longer. And then I add a delay here. Just add the default one, actually. Oops. Then if I set it to just a synced amount of eights, maybe. Then you can hear, obviously, with a shorter feedback, it fades out fairly quickly, but if we turn it on to max feedback, it just keeps on looping throughout the whole phrase. So even though we've only got that one drum happening at the start, we get sound the whole way through. So this is a very cool, you know, trick here. And what a lot of these patterns pattern presets are doing is they're making use of the time parameter here. Um, if I set it to free, actually, you can hear what happens if I adjust the time in one or the other direction. If I make it shorter, we're going to get a kind of rising in pitch. Um, the one thing you can't do, though, is have a kind of slide down at the end without adding another slice um, because uh, this kind of resets it, if you like. So the feedback kind of ends at any point where you slice it. So I'm just going to undo that, actually. Um, and of course, you can go the other direction to have it. To have it slow down. So, you know, really, really fun way of creating different um, what's the opposite of a riser? It's a, uh, um, a slowdown. <laughs> I'm just going to call it slowdown, a wind down maybe. Uh, yeah, so you could also automate a filter here, a low pass filter, bring the resonance down and then have the cutoff sort of going down across the phrase as well. So yeah, really cool, cool tricks you can do there. And of course, that's just with a single cl clap. You can load in any type of one shot. Once again, we could go for a vocal for something a bit different. Oh. So yeah, loads of fun. Uh, I'm going to reset that one, though. You can have fun maybe trying to create a similar one of those yourself. 